Hello YouTube, I just wanted to update you on uh, current events. I, I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video in a very long time. I've been busy with uh, university and stuff like that. So, today I'm going to show you an upgrade that I've made to the system that I have in my house. I'm really sorry for the flickering, that's the light conditions and the camera is having a really hard time picking up the router for some reason. Anyway, so, first thing I'd like to point out is that the router is converting the ADSL connection into a DSL connection and that makes sense in a minute even though it sounds ludicrous but that's just bear with me because that's kind of what it's doing and I'd like to, sh to show you that there is an Ethernet jack plugged in to it and an ADSL connection okay so that's that part done and we go on to the main beast this is a Dell PowerConnect 5324 switch unmanaged and also comes with the serial port over here which I'm having a lot of trouble connecting. As you can see, that's, connect, that's the connection uh, information. But uh, I haven't been able to come onto it, even though I have the... Uh, what's, what is this? Um, sorry about the ums, I'm just trying to... Well, that thing, the RJ45 Sun rollover... I think it's a rollover cable, is it? No, sorry, I think it's... No, it's crossover, it's crossover. Yeah, so the crossover cable to do that connection thing which states inside the instruction manual that you need to connect to it on one of the comms. Now unfortunately with Hyper Terminal I haven't managed to get it to connect, so what I'm thinking about doing is connecting that thing to two Cisco uh, RJ45 rollover cables and then con inverting the connection using this thing, uh, which is apparently the main bit. So. I'm going to use one of these, one of those, two, well yeah, I'm going to have one of those on the back of it, on the Cisco one, and a coupler in the middle, and I think that should connect to it. If anybody's tried that, leave a comment below, and, well, just tell me if it works or not, really. So, that's that, I just wanted to, sh and also, well, enough babbling, I'm, I'm going to show this now, so, this is the broadband broadband connection, really. This is this is where all the magic happens. So from this port 23, the connection is being shared to all the other ports. So 17, we've got 20 down there, I think. No, 22. This is 7 and 3. So this is the other router. That's where this is, connected into this box. And the connection is going from this RJ45 lead here to this RJ45 lead here. But in my previous video, you might have seen this space here being occupied by two leads. And now the, the one, see? That one's empty, that one's full, so that one's still... So that means that this computer is still receiving an internet connection whilst being plugged into the switch. And that's saved up that slot there. Oh, the router now lives. As you can see, same wire of RJ45 going into it and that's being connected up to a TV and this is a spare RJ45 lead for whatever the heck we want. Um, okay, so this router is 1000 megabits per second, 1 gig on all 24 ports and has some additional mini gigabit Ethernet fiber ports. Well, I've been told they're fiber ports but whether or not they are is debatable. But that's the state of affairs now. So. Yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. 